That was Pestilence with Land of Tears and the Headbangers Ball is still on location at the Metal Market and we're profiling the Dutch rock scene. And uh, coming up next, I'm very pleased to introduce an exciting new guitarist called Tamash. Now, Tamash is actually Hungarian, but he does have connections with the Netherlands. So, Tamash, could you tell us what are your connections with Holland? My management is a Dutch management leading by Ruud Kroonendijk and the Systems Power. And this is the reason why we, uh, the international career, we started here in Holland with Dutch musicians. Uh, only the keyboard player of uh, us is a Hungarian too. In the, in the new album of mine, it's called Guitar Tears, is a Dutch drummer, Ernst van E. He's uh, played at famous Dutch bands like Hello Is and Harvey Child. And uh, the bass player was Barend Kurboa from the Whistler Kurboa Whistler. Mm -hmm. Do you think that um, Dutch musicians are of a very high standard? Yes, I'm quite sure. And uh, I must say it's, uh, it was a little bit easier to choose Dutch musicians because they can uh, better hold the line with my management. <laughs> Now you said, uh, you mentioned your album Guitar Tales, now that's actually an instrumental album isn't it? Why did you decide to, to take that approach rather than having like, um, you know, vocals and so on? I'm quite sure the guitar is a very interesting instrument, it's uh, I think the basic instrument of the rock and roll and the heavy metal and uh, like the old, uh, old ages uh, like Johann Sebastian Bach. A solo instrument uh, could be interesting at the all evening long. Mm -hmm. So I think it's not a new idea, it's uh, only transferred the idea to the new ages. Mm -hmm. So I think the guitar basically can be more interesting than a, a small part in the middle of the rock song. I mean, not only 20 seconds. It's a, it's a very amazing instrument. Agreed, agreed. Now, um, it is actually a concept album, isn't it? Now, how can you explain a storyline without any, any words? This uh, Guitar Tears is an interesting album, I think, because, uh, of course, an instrumental, but, but uh, I think when you hear an uh, interesting instrumental album, you also uh, have text, not uh, from a singer, right. from your hand, from your brain. You have visions, uh, actually, you have uh, feelings. Mm -hmm. And uh, I asked uh, my uh, best friends uh, from all over the world to uh, make small stories about the songs. And uh, we have a quite big booklet, it's 22 pages. And uh, the meantime, when you listen to the album, you can watch, you can uh, check the small stories and uh, your feeling can be more complete with it. So basically you'd like people to listen to the album and maybe come up with their own ideas about the songs as well, right? Yes, yes, sure. Okay. Now, uh, very quickly, what are your personal influences and how would you describe your style? At first uh, I had a high school in classic guitar, so basically I'm also a classic guitar player. And uh, of course I'm influenced uh, by uh, uh, guitar players like Richie Blackmore and uh, Tony McElpine, his first album uh, was a, a revelation to me. And of course, Ingrid Malmsteen, Greg Howe, and uh, an interesting point, Jamie Laritz. Uh, he is also a very good American guitar player and one of my influences, uh, guitar player. And uh, I had a very big luck. He was a special guest on the Guitar Tales. We did his song, Creativity. Okay, well thank you very much for taking time out to join us in the Netherlands and it's thank great you. to see a um, talented musician coming out of Hungary. So well done to you Tamash, good luck. The album is Guitar Tales and are you going to be touring at all? Yes, at uh, the end of February we start uh, the tour here in Netherlands, the 27th we'll be start here. Okay.